The recent courtroom fireworks may be over in the Michelle Barrientes Vela public corruption trial, but the decision on her fate may be just a few days away. Yeah, it could all be in the hands of the jury as soon as tomorrow. Dylan Collier explains that's going to happen, but not before some of the most intense moments this case has produced so far. <laughs> A nearly week-long, methodical presentation of evidence against former Bear County Precinct 2 Constable Michelle Barrientes Vela gave way this morning. Seven minutes ago, you testified to them and you didn't know what Don was talking about. To a verbal slugfest. In one corner, Texas Ranger Bradley Freeman. In the other, Defense Attorney Nico LaHood, who attacked the state's use of a Precinct 2 clerk who resigned a day after law enforcement raided her workplace. You made that assessment to trust Susan Tristan that you've known for 13 days. That's your testimony to this jury? We trusted that Susan would tell us if there was anything on the recording that we needed to know. We trusted her. We felt that she was being honest. That's amazing. Freeman issued multiple grand jury subpoenas for security records from Rodriguez Park, but never specifically asked for cash logs. Attorneys for Barrientes Vela described the gathering of documents as deficient. Where's hours worked? It's not on there either, but you can calculate that by the hours, the compensation that was made from the cash logs. Man, that's a lot of work, right? I, thought you were I, be I think it's worth it. I think a police station should give it to us. Hmm. You don't want to be tricky though, right? No, sir. The state rested its case around 3.30 this afternoon. The defense has indicated that it will rest its case when the trial resumes in the morning, mean, meaning the jury could have this case in its hands by midday tomorrow. Reporting live at the Bear County Justice Center, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News.